Yeah, man. So, you know how this started? I will go after we elder we study scripture and everything lead that this generation is the last generation. we live in a babylon during the time when we live in a babylon 400 years of slavery marcus garvin tried this earlier when in this black star line it never worked out you know me and this man here, yeah. we spent, when, a couple of weeks ago when it was real cold, we sit to name the movement. Because, man, not a typical Rasta man. He's an art of that Rasta man. Me not pray to Selassie, me pray to Christ. The truth we deal with. We sit in the pavilion now where the most demonic place in America. This is where Abraham Lincoln free slave. It's a Masonic place. For some reason, some force I think keep me here. And I just saw me sit for many years and I just saw me go teach. And from here, me and Jason decided to name the movement. Same thing with Marcus Garvey do, but on a different level. See, we are going to do this by renting crochet. But if we do that, we have to start us somewhere. And after reading the scriptures through Isaiah, where <coughs> Isaiah really pushed me to this point. When him say, Damascus shall become the ruin, and whosoever live on it shall become like the remnant of Israel. That was Isaiah 17. And when we read Revelation 13, it's actually a precept of what must say. But Revelation 18 tells me the same thing. So, Damascus. Destruction. Look in at the Mediterranean right now. See how much warship in it. Look what the American president calls for build a wall to lock we in. Look at the chip. What is the chip? Now we are called the one super for reading Revelation 13. Re super, your, rep your president. Rep no, 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 no. You, you know, no, but you know you can't do come to God. I hear time now. Revelation 13. Gone back. Yeah, I'm going to Revelation 13 for you. Revelation 13 of me, for what we are doing. The I will go movement where me and Jason spend. I'm giving you the Bible, man. No, man. Read. Yeah, read for me. Yeah. Read that, man. Read for me, Marcus. No, no. Not with them blows and stuff. Read. Read, man. I read them for French, but it's important. Right. There's nothing more important than the scripture. Who is that? Revelation chapter 13. Yeah, and I saw a great beast coming out of the sea, and with ten horns and seven heads, and with the ten Damien, which is crowned is the horn of blasphemous name, uh, and his head. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, his feet like was a bear, and his mouth was like a lion mouth. And to it, as a, the dragon gave his power and the, his throne and great authority, one seat, one of its head seemed to have mortal wound, but it was mortally wounded and healed. And the whole earth marveled, and they followed the beast. And they worship the dragon for the he had given the authority to the beast and worship the beast saying, Who is like the beast? Who can fight against it? The beast was given a mouth to utterly haunt it and blasphemous word. It was allowed to exercise authority for forty two months. It opened its mouth to utter blasphemous against God and blaspheme his name, his dwelling that in those who dwell in heaven 
also it was allowed to make war and the saint to conquer them and authority was given it over every tribe and people and language and nation and who, all who dwell on earth will worship it everyone whose name was not been written before the foundation of the world in the book of life of the lamb who was slain if anyone has a ear let him hear if anyone has been taken captive to captivity he goes if anyone is being slain with the sword within the sword must be slain here is it called for the end endurance and the fate of the saint then i saw another beast rising out of the earth it had torn like a lamb and like a spoke like a dragon it exercised all the authority for the first beast in the presence and make the earth and its inhabitants worship the beast, the first beast, whose martial wound was healed. It performed great signs, even make fire come down from heaven to earth in front of people. And by the sign that it was allowed to work in the presence of the beast, it deceived those who dwell on the earth telling them to make an image for the beast was wounded by the sword and yet lived and allow and give breath to the image of the beast so that the image of the beast might even speak and might cause those who not who would not worship the image of the beast to be slain and it also causes all both small and great rich and poor both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand of the forehead, wow. so that no man can buy or sell unless he has marked the mark of the, the name of the beast or the number of its name. Verse 18. The call for wisdom let the one who has the understanding calculate the number of the beast. For it is the number of, the, of a man, and the number is 666. So this was Revelation 13 telling we that the mark is coming. We now look to Texas, San Antonio especially, where the mark of the beast has been stricken in the school. The RDIF chip is a worldwide manifestation of the Pope. Listen, a month ago, the Pope said, worthless priests can have boyfriend, and the church should, what they call this? Embrace, Embrace homosexuality. And what did Christ said to his disciple when they asked what the sign of your coming? He said, just as was it in Sodom and Gomorrah, shall it be to the end. Look at what is going on now. It is the same. Stop. Turn off a minute.